Thank you so much, Dr. Wu. Our third talk is recorded. Um, Dr. Wu, if you're able to stay online, we may have, I think we'll have um, a couple minutes that we can take at the end for a few questions, for the, the at least for you and Mark, who are here. Um, our third uh, research fellowship awardee is Dr. Miguel Angel Martin, who is a postdoctoral fellow in Dr. Daniela Sia's lab in the Division of Liver Diseases at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And he will be presenting his work investigating the role of YAP1 signaling and shaping the tumor microenvironment. And after that, we'll take a few questions. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and thanks to the Colonial Carcinoma Foundation for inviting me to the 2022 annual conference. My name is Miguel Angel Martin, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the Division of Liver Disease in the Nera CS Laboratory at Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. In the patic colonial carcinoma is a biliary malignancy with increasing incidence and dismal prognosis. Preliminary data suggests that activation of JAP1 could generate an immunosuppressive, and my, sorry, could we start again because the, the slide didn't pass, and I just realized. Just, just the last, I promise. Yeah, sorry, yeah, just go, yeah, just the countdown again, then go for it. Okay, five, four, three, Two, one. Hello, everyone, and thanks for the thanks to the Connecticut Carcinoma Foundation for inviting me to the 2022 annual conference. My name is Miguel Angel Martin, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the Division of Liver Disease in Daniela CS Laboratory at Iken at Iken School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Intrahepatic colonic carcinoma is a biliary malignancy with increasing incidence and dismal prognosis. Preliminary data suggests that activation of JAK1 could generate an immunosuppressive environment and help cancer cells to hide from the immune system. Our aim was to characterize the underlying mechanism through which JAK1 shapes the immune tumor microenvironment of ICC and ultimately identify novel therapies. By applying a virtual deconvolution, we have identified five novel steam classes indicated by different colors at the top of this heat map which encompass both inflammate and non-inflammate profiles. The inflammate classes include the immune classical and the inflammatory stroma on the left of the heat map. Both classes resemble hot tumors with high immune infiltration. The inflammatory stroma presents higher stoma deposition with enrichment of signatures capturing presence of cancer-associated fibroblasts. The hepatic stem-like tumor classical and the desert-like classes resemble cold tumors with scarce immune infiltration. The desert-like class saw the lowest immune infiltration. The hepatic stem-like classes overlaps with the previously reported ICCA class with stem cell features. Our pathologists analyzed the different slides and classified the levels of the infiltration as absent, minimal, mild, and moderate. The immune classical class is the one with the highest mild and moderate infiltration. And as we move to the right, the infiltration is reduced. The stomach infiltration was also analyzed as absent, moderate, and high. And in this case was the inflammatory stroma the one with the highest infiltration. By performing immune deconvolution using the Cybersoft tool, we observed that not only the amount of immune infiltration, but also the immune composition was different across the five esteem classes. In particular, we observed a higher presence of CD8 T cells and gamma delta T cells in the immune classical and the inflammatory stomach classes. On the other hand, N2 macrophages were enriched in the hepatic stem light and regulatory T cells were significantly higher in the cell light. The five esteem classes were enriched in different targetable molecular pathways. Both immune classical and inflammatory stoma classes were enriched in inflammatory pathways. But while the immune classical is enriched in methylation pathways, the inflammatory stroma is enriched in several oncogenic pathways such as KRAS and TP53. The hepatic stem light class is enriched in notch and jab. The tumor classical is enriched in cell cycle pathways, and the desert light is enriched in with metacatenin. In terms of chromosomal instability, the hepatic stem like and the desert light classes show a higher chromosomal load, mostly due to broad and focal losses. Among the more frequently, frequently deleted peaks in the hepatic stem like, we identified loss of SAP1 and BGLL4, tumor suppressors of EPO pathways. Notably, SAP1 expression correlated with its chromosomal loss and JAP1 signature. As a summary of the STEAM classification of ICCA characteristics, we have on the left the inflammate ICC classes. The immune classical is characterized by highest immune infiltration, low mutation rates, and is enriched in metabolism pathways. The inflammatory stroma is characterized by high immune infiltration, highest stroma deposition, and T cell exhaustion. 
In the non-inflamed ICCAs, we have the tumor classical characterized by TP53 mutation and is enriching cell cycle pathways. The desert light is the one with the lowest infiltration, but with higher presence of T-Rex and is enriched in wind pathways. The hepatic stem light is the largest of the five classes, characterized by higher M2 macrophages recruitment and is enriched in northern JAP1. Emerging evidences suggest that JAP1 signaling contributes to shapes in the immunity of solid cancers through the recruitment of macrophages and myeloid derivative suppressor cells and induce immune evasion through PDL1 expression. It's interesting that in the hepatic stem light class, we, we had observed an enrichment of JAP1 with high recruitment of M2 macrophages and low lymphocyte recruitment. So we decided to investigate what is the role of JAP1 in the hepatic stem light class. Based on the growing realence of preclinical models to define potential therapies, it was essential to determine whether commonly used ICC mirroring models, both JAP1 and non-JAP1 driven, recapitulate key features of these human stem classes. To this goal, we generate four previously described animal models by the dynamic Talbay injections. The models that we use are KRASP19, NOTCHAKT, JAPAKT, and FDXW7AKT, all of which developed ICCA in our hands. And separate visualization of RNA-seq data obtained from samples derived from the distinct mutant models and healthy livers suggested higher similarity between tumors within each model. Prediction analysis using the STEAM classifier we had defined it revealed that the KRASP19 model resembled the largest class encompassed on the inflammatory profile, the inflammatory stroma, while the other three mostly recapitulates the hepatic stem light class, the largest of the STEAM classification. Then we analyzed the immune composition of the, of the murine tumors by mass cytometry. In the four murine models, we observed a significantly enlargement of the myeloid compartment compared to the healthy livers, particularly the granulocytic myeloid derived suppressor cells. The JAP1 driven tumors saw a robust and significantly increase of monocytic myeloid derived suppressor cells and macrophages over the total CD45 cells. By flow cytometry, consistent with KRAS mutant patients showing depletion of cytotoxic T cells and enrichment of myeloid cells, KRAS P19 tumors contain increase of CD8 PD1 T cells. On the other hand, we could confirm the significant increase of monocytic myeloid derived supersocial cells and macrophage factions in JAP1 driven tumors. Comparative analysis identified PDGFT, which plays an important role in macrophages recruitment among the top of expressed genes in both murine and human JAP1 driven ICCAs. To establish whether JAP1 activation can induce PDGFT, we analyzed transcriptomic data derived from JAP1 activation in doxycycline inducible transgenic mice. The analysis showed a gradual increase of PDGFT expression upon JAP1 activation. When we ordered the cohort used to find the STEAM classification in three groups based on low JAP1 signature, a median JAP1 signature, and a high JAP1 signature, we can observe that as long as we move from the low to the high signature, there is a reduction on T cell activation genes, and also an increase on macrophage and monocyte related genes. There is a correlation between JAP1 and macrophages and monocyte gene expression, and these results were confirmed by C68 immunostaining. While our data suggests a key immunosuppressive role of JAP1 in these tumors, JAP1 inhibitors have been unsuccessful in patient due toxicity. Tibosanif, which is, which is currently being tested as single agent and in combination with immune checkpoints inhibitors, is a potent selective inhibitor of BEGFR123 and can also block PDGFT. To test if this combination could benefit cold tumors of the hepatic stem like and sensitize them to PD1 therapy, we evaluated its efficacy in JAP AKG tumors. Interestingly, while tibofanid significantly suppressed tumor growth, the combination did not provide additional benefits. So these are our conclusions. We have generated a novel classification of ICCA that integrates elements of the stroma, tumor, and immune microenvironment. The steam classes encompass both inflammate and non-inflammate profiles. JAP1 signaling was particularly enriched in the hepatic stem-like class, 
a non-inflammatory tumor subtype with enrichment of M2 macrophages and stem cell-related traits. Murin and human JAP1 driven ICCAs present a unique immune microenvironment characterized by lower fraction of CD8 T cells and enrichment of macrophages. Transcript pomidata suggests that JAP1 signaling could mediate macrophage recruitment in ICCAs through PDGFD. Tibosanif, a potent TKA inhibitor that targets BEGF and PDGF, among others, show its efficacy as single agent in JAP1 driven tumors. Underlying mechan mechanisms are currently being investigated. Thank you very much for your attention.